has kept you and I up to this day. Magnify the name of God. La kwata li bozonto. Ezia kata li katole bozonto. Malia kata li katole bazanda rika zonto. Azia kata li katole bozonto. Lord, we thank you. We appreciate you. It's of your Lord, the, the Lord mercy that we are not consumed. Lord, we give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you adoration. We worship you with the fruit of your lips. That day we thank you for what you did last week. Lord, we exalt holy name. We magnify you. Thank you, King of glory. For in Jesus' name, we pray. Zechariah 3, verse 1 to 5. Beloved, pray and say, Father, every filthiness in me, Daddy, take it away. Every doubt whatsoever that will not allow me to acquire your power this evening. Father, take it away by your mercy. You remove the garment of the Zechariah. Father, take it away, Lord. Lord God of heaven, Daddy, take away every filthiness in me. The high priest, oh Lord, Father, Daddy, you remove the garment of the high priest. Father, take every filthiness in me. Every sin whatsoever that will not allow me to really empower this evening. Father, take it away. Lord God of heaven, Daddy, you are the God that appeared to Joshua and you indicate that he was wearing a filthy garment. Father, take away every filthiness in life of each and every one of us, both online and on ground, Lord. For in Jesus' name we pray. Acts 1, 8, begin to ask that the Holy Spirit will empower you. Ask for the power of the Holy Spirit to come like never before. Ask that, Father, I want to receive your power. I want to receive your empowerment this evening. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, let your Holy Ghost empower each and every one of us, Lord. Thank you, Abba, Father. In Jesus' name, we pray, Lord, we thank you. We appreciate you. We declare this evening's service open. We pray that your grace be available to each and every one of us. Thank you, Abba, Father, for in Jesus' name we pray. Somebody shout hallelujah. And I see you wave your hands to Jesus this evening. And just worship the name of the Lord. Call him by his name Yahweh. He's the King of kings and the Lord of lords. He's the Alpha, he's the Omega. He's the Lord of heaven. A God who rules in the affairs of all men. I'd like you to just wave those beautiful hands to him and say, Father, I am grateful. Thank you, Jesus. We give you praise, Jesus. We lift you high, Jesus. We adore your name, Jesus. We glorify your name, Jesus. Immortal, invincible. You are the only wise God. Just support the name of the Lord tonight is worthy. Eli Elyon, we glorify your name, Jesus. Ilana Kaposita Ilado Zita Yanadesh. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you.
unto him this evening and let him receive your praise honor and adoration father we thank you lord we thank you we exalt you father we thank you for the fifth day of february 2024 to you alone behold the glory thank you abba father in jesus mighty name we pray you are welcome to special power touch communion service 
You'll be blessed tonight in the name of Jesus. It's time for us to pray our intercessory prayer. The first prayer is taken from the book of Luke, chapter 1, verse 37. For with God, nothing shall be impossible. With a ladder for you, can we say, my father, my father? Let Abuja's special power touch. February 23, 2024. God of all possibilities, answer to its name in the lives of all participants and attendees in the name of Jesus. Lift your voice unto heaven. With God, nothing shall be impossible. With him, all things are possible. And it's time for God of all possibility. Let God of all possibility answer to his name in the life of all attendees and participants. Come February 23rd, 2024 at National Stadium, Abuja. My father, my father, let Abuja special power touch. February 23rd, 2024, God of all possibilities, answer to his name in the life of all participants, in the life of all attendees, in the name of Jesus. Lift your voice unto heaven this evening. Lift your voice unto him and cry unto him that God of all possibility, we answer to his name. With him all things are possible. The lame shall walk. The dead shall rise. The sick shall receive healing. There shall be deliverance. There shall be rescue. There shall be restoration. In the mighty name of Jesus, it's God of all possibilities. He will make all things possible. Come 23rd of February 2024 at National Stadium, Abuja. In the mighty name of Jesus, my Father, let the team, God of all possibilities, answer to his name. Come 23rd of February 2024 at National Stadium, Abuja, in the life of all participants and attendees. In the name of Jesus, Elato Shikatalia, Erala Kadazia Riagadosha Talia Badosha, Ikatalia Gadosha, God of all possibility. We turn bitter tears to joy. God of all possibility. We make a possibility to be possible. We turn a barrier woman to become mothers of nations. We cast away every spell and causes. And we turn it to blessing. Rivers of tears will be dry up because we think all things are possible. Leto Shita Kadoza Errata Garabadosha. Thank you, righteous Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Out of Apostles chapter 10, verse 8. Our God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. Who we went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil? For God was with him. With a louder voice, can we say, My Father, my Father? Confirm again that power touch outreach is a divine mandate by granting everyone access to deliverance, rescue, restoration, mobile fire, and their long awaited inheritance in the mighty name of Jesus. Declare unto heaven this evening, declare unto heaven that heaven will confirm again that power touch outreach is a divine mandate. By granting everyone access to deliverance, access to rescue, restoration, access to mobile fire, and their long awaited inheritance in the name of Jesus, my Father. Confirm again that part of Chartres is a divine mandate by granting everyone access to deliverance, access to rescue, restoration, mobile fire. And their long awaited inheritance in the name of Jesus, my Father. Confirm again the power touch outreach is a divine mandate by granting everyone access to deliverance, rescue, restoration, mobile fire, and their long awaited inheritance in the mighty name of Jesus. You can also take time and pray for yourself, Lord. Confirm again that power touch outreach is a divine mandate by granting me access to deliverance, access to rescue, restoration, mobile fire, and my long awaited inheritance in the mighty name of Jesus is for everyone. Restoration, restoration, rescue, and deliverance. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Psalm 136, verse 4. To him whom the Lord dwell great wonders, for his mercy endureth 
forever. Hallelujah. Can you shout, my father, my father, in the name of Jesus Christ, let every participant and attendees apart touch night VG, February 23, 2024, be supernatural position for all round wonders in all areas of life. In the name of Jesus, can we pray for supernatural positioning? Supernatural positioning, supernatural positioning, supernatural distraction. Everyone is positioned for supernatural all round wonders. In the name of Jesus, all participants, all attendees are supernatural position for their miracles, supernatural position for their testimony, supernatural position. For all our wonders in all areas of life and destiny, you can also cry out to God, Lord, when you will attend to me, let me be supernaturally positioned. When my testimony will come, when my deliverance will come, let me be supernaturally positioned. No distraction, no obstruction. Illa Toshita, Erriagadosha, Erpradagazuda, Leto Shagada, all attendees and participants to be supernaturally positioned for all our wonders in all areas of life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, righteous Father. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. For in Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Isaiah 45, verse 3. And I will give thee the treasures of darkness. And he will receive some secret places. That thou mayest know that I, the Lord, who is called thee by a name, am the God of Israel. Let's cry to God and say, my father, my father. We ask that you raise an army of financial giants from this commission that will take the world by storm through diverse encounters at the Puja Stranger Power Torch 2024, come February 23rd, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's cry to the Almighty God, my Father and my God. We ask that you raise an army of financial giants from this commission, because the international church that will take the world by storm Two diverse encounters at the Punjab Special Power Tosh 2024. Come February 23rd in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, raise the number of financial giants from this commission that will take the world by storms to diverse encounters at the Punja Stanger Power Tosh 2024. Come February 23rd in the mighty name of Jesus. My father, my God, we ask, O oh God, that you raise an army of financial giants from this great commission that we take the world by storm to diverse encounters at the Buddha Church of Power Tosh 2024. Coffee body twenty two in the name of Jesus. Re Pratosa, Jacabalayata, Ele Prata, Shadow Payata, Emaratosa, Paracadosa, Ebratosa, Leca Bracada, Leca Balagada, Saranadosa, Marante Prayato, Ebratosa, Madaka da Gadata, Leca Prayaba da Barosa, Epataka Bayabarosa, Leca Pataka da Gadas, Lepraca da Barosa. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Blessed be your name, Lord. For in Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Acts chapter 1, verse 8. But ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you, and they shall be witnesses unto me, born in Jerusalem, and in all Judea, and in Samaria, and unto the uttermost parts of the earth. Let's cry to God as a father. Say, My father, my father, let every encounter. With the word, let every encounter with the Holy Spirit and power touch outreach at the national stadium, February 23rd, 2024. 
Turn every participant, turn every attendee to an envy of this world in the name of Jesus. Le e pratosha, roko paya bagabarus, majagadagadagadash, ne re e pratosha ta, e pragabela gabagabarus, ne roto praya bagabarus, majagabrada bagabarus, rekwa praja gabagabarus. Let every encounter with the world, let every encounter with the Holy Ghost. At the special power touch outreach at the national stadium, COVID 23, 2024. Don't every participant, don't every attendee online and on ground to an envy of this world world in the name of Jesus. Ro e pradosa, pate e pradosa, lege baragadash, mare e pradosa, pate gabagabros, e prako mayabros, pate gadagadash, le e pradosa, pate gadagadosa, mare e pradosa, pate gabagabros, e mere to bradash, jagabaradosa. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Blessed be your name, Lord. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Give a powerful possibility, amen. 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 And amen. Can we give Jesus a big hand? And please, can you take your seat in God's presence? Hallelujah. Darling Jesus. Darling Jesus. Oh, my darling Jesus. You're wonderful one. I love you so much Darling Jesus Oh my darling Jesus You're wonderful one. Darling Jesus Darling Jesus Oh my darling Jesus, you're a wonderful one. I love you so much, darling Jesus. Oh my darling Jesus, you're a wonderful one. We have We worship you. We hail you, O oh, in the earth. We hail you. We worship you. We hail
shall flow river, rivers of living water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Out of my belly shall flow a river. Breathe us some living water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let it flow, let it flow. Jesus, let it flow, let it flow. Suck it, Peter. Let it flow, let it flow. Oh, let it flow right here, right now. The river flow, Jesus. It begins to bring every dance into life. Yes, it's a life giving river. Oh, let it flow right here and now. It's sinking. That's the river flow, Jesus. It begins to bring every dance into life. It's a life-giving river. Oh, let it flow and right When you are here, 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 when you are here. When you are here, when you are here, when you are here, when you are here, yes, when you are here, lift your voice, sister. When you are here, sickness go, go sometimes. When you are here, when you are here, when you are here. When you are here, when you are here, sick and sick and sick, sick and sick and sick and sick and when you are here, when you are here, when you are here, for Jesus do it better this evening. Glory be to God. You are welcome to Power Thought Communion Service. Tonight is your night of deliverance, rescue, restoration in the name of Jesus. Today is day 29 of our fasting and prayer. Am I right? Day 29. Praise the Lord. It's time for Power Thought Daily Devotional. Our third daily devotion of the month of February is out. Beautifully packaged to be a blessing to you. So please get yours from the hushers. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Today is Monday, 5th of February, 2024. Praise, key to deliverance. Praise, key to deliverance. Act chapter 16, verse 25 and 26. And at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises unto God. And the prisoners heard them. And suddenly there was a great earthquake. So that the foundations of the prison were shaking. And immediately all the doors were opened. And everyone's bands were loosed. The word of wisdom for today says, Nobody truly praised God and remained the same without pleasant surprises. I want to pray for you today. All through February, it shall be pleasant surprises for you and your family in the name of Jesus. Say louder, amen. One of the weapons that set people free from bondage and captivity in this kingdom is praise and thanksgiving. Nothing sets people free like the key of praise and thanksgiving. It is an effective key. As you engage in thanksgiving and praises today, the Lord will set you free in the name of Jesus. What are the things that praises will deliver unto us this evening? Praise the liver from the battles of life. Judges 20 verse 18. Judges 20 and 18. And the children of Israel arose 
and went up to the house of God and asked counsel of God and said, which of us shall go up first to the battle against the children of Benjamin? And the Lord said, Judah shall go first. It is the first supernatural force that you need to confront your enemy. And what is that force? Judah. And what is Judah? Judah means praise. No matter what you are facing, offer praises and thanksgiving unto God first. Number two, praises deliver from the spirit of sorrow and depression. Isaiah 40, Isaiah 61, verse 3. Isaiah 61 and 3. To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion, to give unto them beauty for hashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called the tree of righteousness, the planting of the law, that he might be glorified. You can still win that battle if you allow praise to go first. If you don't allow anything to tamper with your praises and your thanksgiving of God, that battle, you will win it in the name of Jesus. The last defeat you suffer shall be the last forever in the name of Jesus. Praising God and thanking God deliver you from causes and evil covenant. Ezekiel 34 verse 25. Ezekiel 34 25. And I will make with thee, with them, a covenant of peace. And will cause the evil beasts to cease out of the land. And they shall dwell in safety in the wilderness and sleep in the woods. I want to pray for you today. No more curses, no more evil covenant in the name of Jesus. What do we do today? Be connected to God genuinely and then never let anything stop you from praising God. Hello? Never let anything stop you from praising the Lord. In every situation, what do you do? Give thanks. Don't forget, God is working on your case and you will testify in the name of Jesus. Are you ready to give God praise? Are you ready to thank him for February? Please be on your feet and say, Father, I thank you for the revelation knowledge of your word. Say, Father, I receive the grace to always praise you in all situations. In the name of Jesus. Say, Father, let every chain of oppression upon me break into irredeemable pieces. In the name of Jesus. Say, Father. Say, Father, by your power, set me free from bondage and captivity. In the name of Jesus. Say, Father, visit the root of the problem of all our newcomers and new converts and give them permanent solution. In the name of Jesus. Say, Father, as I begin to praise you today, deliver me and my family members from the battles of life. In the name of Jesus. Say, Father, deliver me from the arrow of sickness and depression. In the name of Jesus. Say, Father, as I offer praises unto you, deliver me from curses and let your blessing overshadow me. In the name of Jesus. Say, Father, let your presence break every generational problem that is working against my life. In the name of Jesus, say, Father, we make a demand for speedy completion of God's city, international church, new auditorium, ready for dedication in record time. In the name of Jesus, go ahead and give God praise. I appreciate him. God has been good to you. He kept you through January. This is February, 5th of February. I appreciate him. Bless the name of the Lord. Father, we give you praise. We give you honor. We give you adoration because you fight our battles for us and we hold our peace. I appreciate him. Give him glory. Father, we thank you. To you alone be all the praise. To you alone be all the glory. To you alone be all the honor. Father, we are grateful to you. Arogumasa. Arogumatidi. Arogumashojo. Sheko Sakata. Iyegedegedegede. Jantebo Satu Yado. I appreciate him in the Holy Ghost. The Lord is good and his mercy endure forever. He has done you well. He has done your family well. Shigadagadagados. Ikosetebosha. Akate yekete. Iyegedeboshanta. Agadige degede. Shakosete yegede. Thank you, Father. We are grateful. Makosakata.
Thank you, Jesus. To you alone be all the praise. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. All through February, the Lord will give you pleasant surprises. Double, double blessing. Double, double celebration. Double, double congratulations. Double, double credit a lot in February. In the name of Jesus. Once again, we decree preservation of lives and properties. Nothing missing, nothing broken, and nothing lacking. We cover everyone with the blood of Jesus. Thank you, our Father. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Three powerful amen. Amen. Amen and hey. Clap for Jesus and please take your seat. Oh! 
lift your hands to the Lord and just bless the Lord. Give him all the praise. Give him all the honor. Give him all the adoration. Ever faithful. Ever sure. The lion of the tribe of Judah. Immortal. Invisible. Oh many potent. Oh many signs. Let's go ahead and give him thanks. Let's appreciate him and give him all the praise. Father, we worship you. Father, we honor you. Father, we exalt you. Blessed be your holy name. You are the King of glory. You are the Lord of glory. Father, we exalt you. Be glorified, Lord. Be exalted, Lord. Thank you, Father. Who is like unto thee? Who can be compared unto you? You are the King of glory. You are the Lord of glory. You are the I am that I am. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. You are the mighty God. The great I am. I
My father, you are the way maker. Everywhere that there is no road, make ways for me this year. Say, my father, you are the way maker. Where the enemy said there is no road, make ways for me this year. Go ahead and pray. Lord, you are the way maker. Prove yourself as the way maker. Prove yourself as the way maker. This year, in my life, in my career, in my business. Prove yourself as the way maker. Prove yourself as the way maker. Make ways for my promotion. Make ways for my lifting. Way maker. Make ways for me. Ashat Aladabaria Nagadosha. Elebarata Nagadesha. Make ways for me. You are the way maker. Road must not be blocked against me. Make ways for me. Make ways for my business. Father, make ways for me. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Number two, say, Father, everything you have told me this year, let the manifestation begin now. Everything you have said you will do in my life, let the manifestation begin now. Everything you have said you will do, let the manifestation begin. From tonight, let the manifestation begin. Let the manifestation begin. Let the manifestation begin. Let the manifestation begin. Of everything you have said you will do. Let the manifestation start now. 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 Everything you have said you will do. Let the manifestation begin now. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Father, we thank you. We give you all the praise for what you have done in the past and for what you will do now. Accept our thanks and praises in Jesus' name. Let the power for the new era rest upon everyone. 
No life shall return home the same. Thank you, Father. Jesus, mighty name, we pray. Say, I receive it. Say, I embrace it. Say, it is mine. Say, I will testify. Give Jesus Christ a clap of prayer and please be seated. Just very briefly, before we introduce our guest minister, Acts chapter 1, verse 8, just to charge our heart. Acts chapter 1, verse 38. Don't be casual when it comes to the power of the living God. It's inevitable in the journey of life. Without power, life can be wasted. Without power, things can be resisted. Without power, one may not attain. The scripture is speaking, but ye shall receive what? Power. Ability. You shall receive power after the Holy Ghost is come upon you. And ye shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem, and in all Judea, and in Samaria, and unto the uttermost part of the earth. You shall receive power, and then something will happen to you. Power for the new era. You shall receive power. Without power, there cannot be newness. Even though it's our heritage in redemption, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17, whoever is in Christ is a new creature. All things are gone. All things become new. But without power, it cannot become a reality. How does this power bring a new era? Number one, it brings transformation. The power of the living God can change you change your life, change your situation, change you and make you to become a higher and a better version of your life. Higher life. John chapter 1 verse 12. As many as receive him, to them he gave power to transform, to become. There is something you can become that you have not become. And one may not likely become it. There is a billionaire you can become that you are yet to become. There is a mother you can become that you are yet to become. You can imagine the life of Sarah without the power of God. She would not have become a mother. Hebrew 11, 11. Sarah herself received power to conceive. In the name that is above every other name. Whatever you need to become this year. That you have not become. After the encounter with power tonight. You shall become. Power. Make you to become. What you can become. That you have not become. That you may not likely become. We have told you in the past. That potential does not equal reality. You may have the potential, but will it come to pass? Not every boy will become father. Not every girl will become mother. Not every destiny, everyone destined to become a billionaire will become one. But you will become one this year. Have you sometimes look at your picture of 20 years ago and you saw yourself? And you are wondering whether you are, you are a jester because you saw the dress you wore, the, the mouth of the trouser. And you wonder where you are in the world. 20 years ago picture. And they said, that's you. And you consider and you saw the way you have transformed. In the realm of the spirit too, you can change ranks. You can change height. Number two, the power is inevitable so that you can deal with the power of the enemies. Power brings you to the new era. It gives you capacity. Luke chapter 10 verse 19. Behold, I give unto you power to trend upon serpent and over all the power of the enemy. 
The Bible didn't tell you the enemy doesn't have power. He said, I give you power above it. I give unto you power. Over all the power of the enemy. And nothing shall by any means hurt you. <laughs> you live in a realm that you can't be harassed. You can't be molested in the realm of the spirit. With all the certificate, they can still mess anybody up without power. A professor fell down in the front of class. He used to make my, I read in Cambridge, I read in Oxford, in Unila. And then when he fell, suddenly they just shoot him an arrow. His, his eye just turned. And then he fell down. And sadly, the student, you know, making jest. If I, one of them went and go and bring uh, water in the gutter to do <laughs> He said, Prof, with all your grammar, just one little guy shot one arrow. He just, he said, just feel dizzy like this. And before you know it, Prof was staggering. And on the floor, wallowing in the mouth. And the guy said, Prof, you don't even have power. I can bring you down. Every power that has vowed to molest you in the name that is above every other name, this shall be disgrace. Plus, everything you have, please have power. I remember a funny story. Before I give you the third one, uh, a prof was traveling across um, a stream. He was going to go with a boat. And the guy that was going to pilot the boat, you know, and, you know, he was using this cano. And when the prof got in, was talking to him just to keep the guy busy, he said, um, what qualification do you have? He said, no, I didn't go to school. He said, he said, you mean you don't know biology? He said, I don't know biology. You mean you don't know physics? He said, I don't know. You mean you don't know English? He said, I don't know. Prof said, half of your life is gone. <laughs> I'm sorry for you, half of your life is gone. He said, it's okay. So they were on the way. Then suddenly a little storm on the stream. And the boy said, Prof, do you know how to swim? Do you know swimmingology? <laughs> Prof said, no, I don't know. He said, all your life is gone <laughs> because this storm, this storm, all your life <laughs> In, in all thy getting, get the power of the living God. Beyond the certificate. While presenting your CV, don't just present paper. Let the man to rest on it. Let the man to go with it. There are other people who have the same qualification. It is the power that will distinguish your own. Number three, why you need power? You need power to silence sickness, to silence infirmity. Most of the sicknesses that you see, there are a spirit behind them. Luke chapter 9 verse 1. And they will hide because demons don't appear on the x-ray. They will not make you to be using drugs so that that drug will go and cause something else. Because this your condition is not medical condition. Luke chapter 9 verse 1. Then he called his 12 disciples together and gave them, read with me now, and gave them power and authority over what? Over all devils and to cure diseases. For every Every sickness, there is a spirit behind it. That's why you see that the Bible says Jesus rebook the spirit behind the sickness. So for every sickness, there is a spirit behind it. Until the spirit leaves, the sickness remains. Luke chapter 5 verse 17. Until the spirit leaves, the sickness remain. The reason why many people apply drugs, do everything, and they were not healed is because, be, especially if you have used drugs 
and you don't get healed, you better start praying. You better start praying because normally you're supposed to be healed. But now this thing is not going. Even with the application of the draw, it has changed hand. Like they will say in my place, oh, I hate you all. Um, it will lose interpretation if I say the hand of the word has entered it. It will confuse you more. But just write it down, oh, I hate you all. <laughs> it will lose it. The, the another, another hand has entered into it. That's why when the doctor have tried all the cool, they will say, please, take him home. Go and use the leg of the home to trace it. Luke 5, 17, and then we'll begin to pray. And it came to pass on a certain day, as he was teaching, and there were Pharisees and doctors of the law sitting by, which were come out of every town of Galilee, and Judea and Jerusalem, and the power of the law was present to heal. Doctors can care, but it's God that kills. The power was present to heal. Last week, as we were finishing, because of time, we could not take physical testimony and all that. As we were finishing, and I was escorting the continental overseer, the, a woman ran to me and said, Pastor, my ulcer is gone. I came with the pain. And all that. My ulcer is gone. I was healed. The Lord has healed me. The power of the Lord was present to him. Hear this. Anything called pain in your life, you are going to wave it bye-bye tonight. Anything called sickness in your life. Because as the word is coming, every affliction will disappear. In the name of Jesus, it takes power to transform. It takes power to deal with the devil. It takes power to be healed and remain healed and remain healthy. How do you get this power? You ask for it. Luke 11, 13. You ask for it. Ask for power. Ask for power. Ask for power. Don't let them mess you up. Don't let them mess your business up. Ask for power. Ask for it. If you then be evil and know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your heavenly father give the Holy Spirit to them that ask him? The people that have abalis as their father, when they are going out, they are abalis, their father, we give them something and say, this is power. So every genuine father empowers their children. God also is genuine. He empowers his own. That's why he said, ye shall receive power. After the Holy Ghost has come upon you. He told them, tarry in Jerusalem. Don't go out oh, until you endure with power. It's not safe to embark on life adventure without being roped with power. You won't be a victim. And Jesus now make it a little bit worse. He said, I send you as a sheep among the wolves. <laughs> sheep is a sewer to the wolves. But he says something, be wise as serpent. In this series, I will teach about the wisdom of serpent one day. Be wise as serpent and be gentle as a dove. You know the meaning of that? Whoever asks for hot water, give him. Whoever asks for cold, give him. Depending on what the enemy asks for, release to him. Uh, but Jesus told us, to pray for our enemy. Did he give you a prayer point? No. Pray for your enemy. It's also the same. Oh Lord, break their head. Stand to your feet. <laughs> Don't let them pray for you. <laughs> he didn't give you a prayer point. So, every power that says you will not go this year, they shall be wasted now. <laughs> Lift your hands and just pray in the Holy Ghost for five seconds. Pray in the Holy Ghost and let's just take three prayer points and then Man of God will come up. Pray it in the Spirit. Pray it in the Holy Ghost. You are about to be empowered. This is the way to be empowered. This is the way to be empowered. This is the way to be empowered. Don't struggle with it. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Pray it in the Spirit. Mashatala dabaria nagadosha. Eleberosa. Esheketeketosia. 
Eleketesia, Eshada Gadash, Eleberiana Gadesha, Eterosia, Eshala Gadesha, Elekebesh, Aleketash, Eperoto, Eshagala Gadash, Imakatosia, Ereta, Eshala Gadagadosha, Empariata, Eshana Gadosha, Abariata, Eshadaga, in Jesus' name we pray. Say, my father, my life can be better than this. Say, my father, by your power, transform my life tonight. Transform my life tonight. Transform my life tonight. Go ahead and pray with zeal. Transform my life tonight. I will not be on the same level. Transform my life. Change my story tonight. Transform my life tonight. Change my story. Mashatalada Bariata. Ele Katosa. Eshalagadagadosa. Ele Tenosa. E Parosa. Ashayada. Eriatado. Eshe Tenosa. Ariata. Ashanaga. Eroto. Eshadadosa. Eketa. In Jesus' name we pray. Number two, pray this one with all everything within you. Lord, power that cannot be harassed, give unto me tonight. Power that cannot be molested, give unto me tonight. Power that cannot be insulted. Hear this. It's an insult for your leg to be swelling. And they ask you, say, what is the problem? You say, you step on charm. That's an insult to a child of God. Don't you see what he said? He said, thou shalt trample upon serpent and scorpion. Do you know the meaning of that? You will not only step on charm, you will step on charmer. It's now charm. Now the leg swear. And unfortunately, they couldn't see anything in the hospital. You want to pray, Lord, the power that cannot be molested. The power that cannot be harassed. The power that cannot be disgraced. Empower me tonight. Lift up your voice. Say, my father. Say, my father. Say, my father. Arise. Empower me tonight. Power that cannot be molested. Power that cannot be harassed. Release upon my life tonight. Go ahead and pray. Power that cannot be molested. Power that cannot be aroused. Let it be released. Your power tonight. Your power tonight. Your power tonight. That cannot be aroused. That cannot be molested. That cannot be disgraced. Eriata. <laughs> Eketeketosara, Asiria, Errata, Eshanadosara, Eshakata, Eketa, Balita no Sara, Power that cannot be harassed, Power that cannot be molested, Ashat Alagadosara, Eriatada, Ashalagadosa, Eketeneshada, Iruatana, Eshadaga, in Jesus' name we pray. Finally, power over sickness and disease. Hear this. There is something your spirit man can swallow. That sickness cannot dwell there. If that same spirit that raised Jesus Christ from the dead dwell in you, it will quicken your mortal body. The spirit of a man will sustain him inside the infirmity one is ill of cancer another one die of headache how do you explain it ah, this body of yours why you are here you need to take charge and tell demons you can't stay here there is a demon behind cancer there is a demon behind diabetes there is a demon behind petic ulcer there's a demon behind weakness. The spirit of weakness. Are you ready to pray? This is my body. 
is not the temple of sickness. And Jesus enter into the temple and begin to chase them away. Everything that is buy and selling. Go and google it. The medical world has no explanation for that thing they call fibroid. Go and google it. I've forgotten the, the name that the medical college now, you know, idiopathic or something. Because they are the medical people. The, 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 the unknown origin. There is no, that thing is seated where babies should be seated inside the womb. And sometimes go and ask some of them. After they have, op I've seen a fibro operated three times. And it kept on growing. You want to tell me that's a fibro? You want to tell me that's a sickness? Oh, now of evil load must carry the load over. Uh, Pastor, you, it's only you don't know. It's our, normally in our family, it's hereditary, diabetes. Oh, I thought you were born again. And your family has changed. And uh, it has changed. It has changed because it's a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things become new. I thought you are in the lineage of Abraham now. And even when he died at 175, we didn't read that he was sick. At 175. At 120, the natural force of Moses was not abated. Now you are 35, you are dragging leg. You say we are getting old. At 35. What are you going to do when you are 80? In the name that is above every other name. The last time sickness was found in your body. That will be the last time forever. That pain must live now. That affliction must live now. It must live now. It must live now. Kenneth Tege was going to die at 16. Then he located the scripture. Mark 11, 23 and 24. And Matthew 8, 17. He said, I saw he took. And then suddenly he got ill on that bed. Two times he has gone to hell. He died, he went to hell. He died, he went to hell. He, a voice returned him back. And he got healed from age 16. He lived to 86. Two weeks to the time he will die. He was still holding a crusade in Canada or so. And after three days... The history had it that after 30 days he has died, that they have confirmed him dead. They saw activities around his heart. The heart was still breathing. He has soaked the word of God in so much that the body has become something. Else. Before you leave this place tonight, you and sickness will divorce forever. <laughs> Hospital will never become your second home. I don't know the way I, I, I will have want you to pray this prayer. But let me just say you, I wish you can pray in tongues. And just pray in tongues for five minutes. Let me tell you the way this thing works. I'll just leave Pastor Moses to do his own thing. Let me tell you the way this thing works. You see, when you pray in tongues, when you pray in tongues, when you pray, you are increasing your volume. You are increasing your volume. But ye beloved, building, 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 building building, you get to a point that no sickness can enter. It, the body is, has received energy so much that it can enter. You pray and turn to a level, addiction just break on its own. You lose taste of it. Are you ready? Hmm. I want to see saints that you will be able to say in one year, I didn't fall sick. Is it possible? Maybe, maybe I'm taking it too much. But let's trust God that this February, you will not be sick. So let's take it one month, month by month. I think our faith can take that. This, say, say to yourself, this February, I will not be sick. Say this February, I will not be sick. Can your faith take that one? Because the Bible says you should not think yourself more highly than what your faith can carry. But there are some for the next 10 years. They are not bargaining to be admitted in any hospital. 
for the next 20 years. They have signed a contract. Lift up your voice. Say in the name of Jesus. My servant sickness. We parted ways tonight. By the power of the living God. Pray that prayer. We parted ways tonight. No sickness in my body. No oppression. No affliction. Lay your hands on yourself by yourself. Lay your hands on yourself and command it. Every spirit of infirmity on your mark. Say, go. Command it to check back to her. Command it to check back to her. Command it to check back to her. Mashat Allah da bariata, isha la gadu shada, ileke po shana desha. Back to hell. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. I decree and declare: Let there be transformation. Let there be transformation. Let there be transformation. By the power of the living God, you change level tonight. Every confrontation of darkness against your life. Tonight, they shall be crushed. Over this body from today, we declare healing is yours. Health is yours. Strength is yours. Capacity is yours. The last time you were sick, we made it last for a long time. All through this month, you will not lay your back on the bed of sickness. Hospitals will not become your second home. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Say, I receive it. Say, I embrace it. Say, it is mine. Say, I will testify. Give Jesus Christ a clap offering and please be seated. Uh, tonight we are blessed to have with us the, uh, to receive the ministry of a dear man of God. I got to know him not very long. I was just in my office. I got, um, or maybe I told him I got a call and um, he introduced himself and privileged to a pastor where we have pastored before at a higher level. He's a big man of God at a higher level. You know? And to me, what a heart. What I always look for, first of all, is the heart of people. It matters to God. Not everybody we think you are matter. You matter. Not everybody will recognize. You know, we live in a world that people try, you do this, I do this, all kind of struggle. And he got to the place and he, you know, saw some things. And then he called those that have served in that place to honor them. Even after you have left several years. What a heart. What a heart. Like the heart of David. What a heart. So from that day, something kept on ringing in my heart. And fortunately, you know, I got to know that it's also connected to one of the privileged of God's servant in the land that's you know, before we made the payment of this place, I had to make arrangement to fly him down and he confirmed this place, even after God has told me. And that he has passed through the hand of that person as well. So I said, No wonder. So tonight, immediately after about five minutes, the choir will come up. We have with us tonight a very wonderful man of God with a good heart. The proficient pastor of RCCG, Prophet 17, Pastor Moses. Can we? Adeyanju. 
You are welcome. We celebrate you, sir. You are welcome. So you will be coming up immediately after the choir administration just for five minutes. Please be seated. I'd like you to expect, you know, I had to put a call through to Lagos today and I, I said, oh, I, I brought this person and oh, the recommendation was excellent. And I put it on speaker. Excellent, excellent. Once again, we celebrate you and appreciate you, sir. And the Lord bless you. And we're going to have more of him this year. Hallelujah. Take over, man of war, take over. Take over, Lamb of God, take over. We cannot know you by ourselves, except you take over. We cannot be you as you are. I'm going to jump take over. Take over, man of war, take over. Take over, Lamb of God, take over. We cannot be you as you are. Except you take over. Give a yanana I do a cave and a chadu a cave. I do a cave and a chadu a cave. I do a choco. 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 a choco. I a Dimi, 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 abasi, dimi, abasi, dimi, oh, dimi, oh, dimi, abasi, dimi, abasi, dimi, 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 abasi, dimi, 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 abasi, dimi. Abasi dimi o, dimi o, dimi. Abasi dimi, abasi dimi, dimi o, dimi dimi. Yeli azali, of to na sebre, asha takata. Let my whole life be expressions of your grace. Can you declare it this evening? Delia Ali and Afton of the Desabri. Let my whole life, let my whole life be a treasure to the
in God. I have ever cast get a lava kata. I go in the chamber. You are the living God. Yes, no one like you. Okay, yeah, look at you. Okay, yeah, look at you. I attack kata. Can it be you? Oh, na jie. Na niki bu bi. Oh, mo kati e. Amama, amasi, amasi, olori, olori. Aya. Adi batu ya, brada weruncha. Aya teka balada. Eku eme, sogi eku eme. Iku rubi eme. You are the living God. This is no one. You carry me. Wet some carry your God. Ayakaba shata. You feed me, Lord. Wet some feed your God. You fought for me. You fought for me. Wet some. Wet some fight for your God. isn't it? Praise the name of the Lord. I've also heard another version of people saying the experience is the best teacher for a fool. I'm not a fool. I believe everybody is prone to mistakes. And when you make a mistake, you correct it. And when you correct it, you discover that it is difficult for you to come down anymore. Now, listening to me, I don't have a lot of minutes to spend here. But I just wanted us to pray some radical prayers very quickly so that by the time the message will come, I believe the Lord will help us to sow those words in a fertile heart so that we can begin to express that what the Lord has done in our lives. Praise the name of the Lord. So I'm ready to pray. So you raise your voice and pray. I mean, you pray with holy madness. Nobody's mad here. Praise the name of the Lord. It's just a way I can describe what I mean. Hallelujah. So say this loud and clear. Say, my father, my father. Mm, I cannot hear you. Say, my father, my father. Every power that will not allow me to manifest your power, let them die. In the mighty name of Jesus. My father, my father. Any power. That will not allow me to manifest your power. Let them die in the name of Jesus. Any power that will hinder the free flow of your power. In my life tonight. I say let that power die. In the name. 
name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. When I say in Jesus' name, we have prayed, please shout three amen. And add one fire to it. Praise the Lord. When I say in Jesus' name, we have prayed. Your answer will be amen, amen, amen. Fire. Hallelujah. So you're going to take prayer number two. Say, oh Lord my God. Every satanic insulator. I hope you hear what I said. Insulator, insulator. You know, insulator does not allow current to flow. Praise the name of the Lord. So, there are insulators, satanic insulators. And they are sin, they are demons, they are dear, they will not allow the power of the Lord to flow. And children of, I mean, children of the devil make jest of us. Why should I pack from my environment because of a witch? My prayer should roast her alive. I mean, my dread, my dread should be upon every enemies of God. So loud and clear, say, oh Lord my God, every satanic insulator that hinders the free flow of your power in my life, die by fire. Prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. Every satanic insulator that hinders every free flow of your power in my life tonight. Let that insulator die. Let that insulator be crushed in the name of Jesus. Help me, O oh Lord. Help me, O oh Lord, that every insulator that will not allow your power to flow, let that insulator be crushed now. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 Fire. Then you pray the last prayer. Hallelujah. Whoever is standing beside you that refuses to pray is a suspect. We can't be praying and somebody is looking at you. He or she is a what? Suspect. And that is why you pray the last prayer. Say, oh Lord my God. Oh Lord my God. Oh Lord my God. Every monetary spirit. Monitoring me up and down. What are you waiting for? Die by fire. Prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. Every monetary spirit. Monitoring me left and right. I say, what are you waiting for? Your time is up. Your time is up. Your time is up. Die by fire. Your time is up. Every monetary spirit. Monitoring me up and down. I declare in the tabernacle of the living God. Tonight, I say your time is up. Your time is up. Thank you, Lord. I bless your name, O Lord. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 Fire. Let somebody shout a big amen. amen. Hallelujah. You may have your seat. God bless you richly. Praise the Lord. I want to respectfully appreciate the man of God that is here. Pastor and Pastor Mrs. Morakio, thank you so much. It's a privilege for me to be here. It is not my right. It's a privilege. Like I told him, I said, there are several men of God you can call. But you look at me and choose me to come. So then I will come. I will be raising my shoulder. That is wrong. You are given the privilege. So I do not take this for granted. I want to say thank you so much. More grace for you, sir. More favor 
more unction, more anointing. In this ministry, in the name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. And choir, thank you so much. It was a beautiful number. I love it. Uh, it's just like I'm not a good singer. But God will help me in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. And the wonderful people of God here, God bless you so much. Thank you for receiving me. Hallelujah. Um, I have a very short time. You know, I'm really feeling awkward this night. And why am I feeling awkward? Somebody gave me a gift. And I thought it was a Bible. And I didn't bother to open it. Because to me, it was a customized Bible. Just when I got here, I realized it was a hymn book. <laughs> Hallelujah. So now I'm using my handset as a Bible. Don't be offended. I like using Bible any day, any time. My PA wants to go and bring his Bible. He said, ah, sir, that Bible is looking old. Though. The, bad, the back no good. I say, I better leave it there. We are in God's city international. I'll, I'll tell them my problem. And they will understand with me. Praise the Lord. The power for the new era. Beloved, it's a powerful topic. But let me just quickly say this. Whatever I'm going to say, there are things you already knew. They are not new. In fact, some of the things the man of God was sharing here. We are also part of the scripture that I scripted down, you know, so that when I'm ministering, I will use it. But let me tell you the truth. The only thing that will be new today may just be the mode of presentation. And even the mode of presentation is not also too new. But I pray that the power of the Lord will accompany his word. You know, Jesus made a statement. He said, the word that I speak to you, they are life and they are spirit. Praise the name of the Lord. So I pray that every rema embedded in the word of God that I will be releasing tonight, you'll be able to catch it. And when you catch it, your story will change. Praise the name of the Lord. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, you have power. If you are not manifesting power, it's because you are not bold. Say that to another neighbor. Neighbor, you have power. If you are not manifesting power, it's because you are not bold. Praise the name of the Lord. It's because you are not bold. Power is there. I'm telling you, power is there. I had a nasty experience some years back. Very frustrating, very shameful. For those people who knew me a long time ago, honestly speaking, I, I don't like to dress gorgeously, but I always like to look smart. Up to now, I see wear jeans, wear my jeans, wear my canvas. And when you see me and my firstborn, you think we are brothers. <laughs> and he's have a lot of beard, and I don't have any. So in one of those days, I was in my car, very clean car, Mercedes 280 is a car, and you know, green color. So, and till now, people don't believe my age. You may think I'm 30 years or 40 years old. No, 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 it's more than that. Hallelujah. So I, I was in the car going and a policeman stopped me. Along with here. I'm only saying this to lay foundation for what I'm about to share with you. And the policeman stopped me and he said, young boy, where is your driver lances? And I answered him honestly. I said, oh, I forgot it at home. That was all I said, though. PA, come, come, come. Let me use that as an example. That was all I said to this policeman. You know what he did? He did to me like this. Go and sit down. God bless you. How many of you saw that action? He did to me like that. Anger in me rose. I said, if you display anger here, they feel kill you. So I, I bottled up. I didn't say anything. The story I'm telling you is, is more than 12 years. What is 12 years? Almost 17 years. Because then I was still area pastor. And I was angry. He said, pack. I packed. He said everything. I didn't answer. After about 20 minutes, he came and said, go. I didn't even say thank you. I drove away. 
I was feeling embarrassed. I couldn't tell my wife. How would I tell my wife that somebody did to me like this? I didn't tell my church member. I kept quiet. If the story had gone the other way, I would have announced it. But guess what? Just about a month or two, we need to go to Lagos. You know, as a redeemed person, you must go to Lagos. I don't have money to fly, so I decided to go by road. So I went to Zuba Motor Park. That was when they started carrying three people per row. You know, those days used to be four. Now they made it three. Ah, very comfortable. So I paid and I sat down. Then one Agbero boy came. When he came, he said, Oh, God, shift. I said, Shift to where? He said, Now four, now four, now four, now go be here. I said, Give me my money. I'm not like Wahala. Give me my money. Let me go. You know what he said? Oh, Shara, your money is gone. You can't get your money back. Ah, I quietly came down. And I went to police station. I trek to police station. I didn't even bother. If they want to go with the bag, let them go with the bag. And when I go to the police station, I did not see anybody. So amazing that there was nobody in the station. I started shouting, uh, Officer, OC, OC. You know the name of OC? OC means officer in charge. OC, no way. Just when I was about to go, I don't know what happened. My, 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 my head just turned and I saw somebody's obituary. And I recognized the person. That was the person that did to me like this. He died after a brief illness. Then I remember his name because I was looking at what was on his uh, chest that day. I marked his name, everything. And I saw it. As I turned to go, the Holy Spirit said, I brought you to come and see judgment. Then as I was stepping out, then a policeman was coming in. And the policeman said, hey, Mr. Man, what can I do for you? I said, I brought a report here. He said, what happened? I told him. He too started shouting, police, corporal, sergeant. He said, sir, go to another police station. I cannot live with you. There's nobody here. So I went back to the motor park and I saw that everybody, they were looking for me. That the matter has been resolved. I should come and sit down and let us uh, go. The Bible said, touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. Brethren, you carry power. Now you know no. And let me tell you two things that will hinder this power from manifesting. Two. Not more than two. Turn your Bibles with me. Sorry, I'm holding handset here. Just follow me. Hallelujah. Psalm 45 verse 7. The book of Psalm 45 verse 7. I may be a little bit awkward, but don't mind me. I'm not used to reading Bible from, a, from my handset. Oh, on the screen. Thank you. You know, when we came from village, we don't understand so many things. What did he say? Thou lovest righteousness. And do what? He test wickedness. Therefore, thy God hath what? Anointed thee. With what? With the oil of gladness above thy fellow. Do you love righteousness? If you love righteousness, get ready for power. If you love righteousness, get ready for anointing. If you love righteousness, get ready for promotion. If you love righteousness, get ready for success. What is the opposite of righteousness? Wickedness. And some of us are wicked. And this wickedness, we exhibit it. 
A lot of stories are running in my head now. I don't even know which one to bring up. You know, my foundational church was Christ's Apostolic Church. That was where we grew from. If you mess up in Sunday school, those teachers will flog you. And church those days, you go every day. There are, in fact, two sessions. Morning session, evening session. Morning session, evening session. From Sunday to Sunday. Even on Sunday when you have normal service, when you close around two, you will still go back home and come. Sometimes I remember my mother will cook food and package it. Because where we came from was far. So after service on Sunday, we were asked to stay back. Then my mother will serve us because we must do evening service. Then we go home. It was like that. But why am I saying all these things? I'm saying all these things because there are things that we learned in those churches that has made some of us what we are today. We will go to church whether it is convenient or not. We are used to it. Praise the name of the Lord. So in that church, there was a family friend that we had. And this woman had, you know, how do I say it? She brought her niece, her niece, to come and be living with her. Her niece, her brother's son, I mean brother's daughter. Guess what? She treated her badly. This girl doesn't sleep in the living room. She sleeps in the kitchen. And then when meat was missing in the pot, they flogged this boy, this girl. They said she's the one that stole. Meanwhile, it was the real children that stole the meat. I remember that girl saying, that girl was Biodu. They say it's Biodu that stole the meat. And this woman will carry broomstick and beat hell out of this girl. And you see the body lacerated, blood coming out everywhere. She wouldn't even take her to hospital for dressing. You know what? When flies are perching on her, this woman will carry fleet and fleet the body. She did it until the girl lost one of, his, one of her eyes. And she'll be going to church. And every first Sunday of the month is Thanksgiving. If you wear new clothes, you go and sit at the back. Don't sit in the front. Because when you sit at the back, they will see you in the front. Because when you are coming forward to bring your offering, you dance from the back. And this woman with Madame Kofo uh, Hegia, and she will cause go slow. Until pastor will carry microphone, I say, stop. Move, move, move fast. But she was wicked. Some of us are like that. We have separate plates for them. The place, the cup, our children use. Our house girl doesn't use it. This is wickedness. Not only when you kill somebody that you have committed an act of wickedness. Are you listening to what I'm saying? So, now, you must love righteousness. Then number two that you must do, that's the only two points. And I'm going to share all that scripture because I must run with time. Number two, you must be prayerful. Prayer gives you power. Man of God said part of it here when he was talking about speaking in tongues. Who was Elijah? We don't know Elijah. Till today, we don't know who was his father. We don't know who was his mother. And the first time the Bible we talk about Elijah was in the book of 1 uh, Kings chapter, chapter 17. 1 Kings 17 verse 1. That was the first time the Bible made mention of Elijah. And Elijah the Tishbite, who was of the inhabitants of Gilead, said unto Ahab, As the Lord God of Israel liveth, before whom I stand, there shall not be new, dew nor rain, this years. But according to my word, who was he? No any formal introduction. We don't know his exploit. We don't know where he was coming from. He just went to the king and announced, thank God for James. Thank God for Apostle James. In the book of Apostle James, James chapter 5, we were able to know who Elijah was. When you read from verse 13, can Peter, can you show it to us? James 5? No, let's go to verse 17. Verse 17, quickly. 
Elias was a man. That was Elijah. Subject to like what? Passions as we are. What did he do? He prayed earnestly. That was all. The Bible didn't even say he fasted. He prayed earnestly that it might not rain. And it rained not on the earth by the space of how many years? Three years and six months. So which means this man tarried in the place of prayer and God confirmed to him and he went and stood before Ahab with audacity. Except by my word. Who are you? You don't need to know who I am. When what I said happened, you will look for me. And then he disappeared. And then what happened? They started looking for him. In fact, because of him, some prophets died. Read your story. Obadiah hid 100 prophets. When Ahab became mad, started killing all the prophets of God. But what stood Elijah out was prayer. Have you prayed? What did the Bible tell us about prayer? Jesus said it. Luke 18 verse 1. Be part. Men ought always to do what? To pray and not to do what? Faint. And Paul corroborated it in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 17. He said, pray without what? Season. Can we pray? If you can pray, fire will fall. But you know what? We have given up in the place of prayer. We no longer believe in prayer. And prayer works. Righteousness plus your prayer equal to anointing. Equal to power. Equal to manifestation of God of uncommon kind. It's because we have given up praying. Let us pray. And when we pray, you see what God will do. Look at all the acts of the apostles. Look at all their acts. I won't be able to read it, but I'll just read them out. In the book of Acts 13, 6 to 12, you know the story there? There was this man called by Jesus. He was obstructing the message of God through the mouth of the apostle to the proconsul. What was the result? He was caused and he was made blind. Today we go about evangelizing. Muslims are, are insulting us, making jest of us. We cannot even demonstrate power. We cannot even demonstrate power. And I love what Paul said in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 4. Look at 2 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 4 to 5. I want to open it so that I'll read it to us. 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 4 to 5. Okay. Hallelujah. 1 Corinthians chapter 2. No, 1 Corinthians, not 2 Corinthians. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 4. And my speech and my preaching was not with what? Enticing words of man's wisdom. But in what? Demonstration of the spirit and of what? Power. Demonstration of spirit and of power. That is what the word of God is all about. As long as it was in the mouth of who? Apostle. Apostle Paul. So where is the demonstration of God's power? In the word that we speak. When you go to the book of Acts... Let's go to the book of Acts chapter 19. Acts chapter 19. And then very quickly, look at what the Bible says in verse 11 and 12. And God wrought special miracles by the hands of Paul, so that from his body were brought unto the sick handkerchiefs or aprons, and the diseases departed from them, and the evil spirit went out of them. Like what the man of God said. He said, every sickness is as a result of demons. As a result of evil spirits. And people that had diverse kind of diseases, all of them, whether they were afflicted, all they needed to do was just to carry a handkerchief or apron from the body of Paul. And they took it there. And then wonders began to happen. 
How can we call ourselves a Christian? We are in the house and problem continue. We cannot resolve the problem. I preached a sermon some years ago and I want to repeat that same sermon, just part of it. All the problem you see in Nigeria today, take it or you leave it. It could have been solved if all the pastors are united. But we are not united. We are not. We have become nepotistic and we are no longer truthful. We see somebody who is committing sin, but because of what we we'll get from him, we we'll keep quiet. We won't talk about it. If the kinds of Elijah that we read here, the story is to be in Nigeria today, bad governance will end. Boko Haram will end. Insecurity will end. All he needs to do is just to come and say, please, can I speak to Asorok there? They say, who are you? Okay, no problem. I'm going to TikTok. I'll do a video to go viral. All of you in Asorok there, if you do not confess what you have done to our security architecture, I give you 24 hours. There shall be mass barrier. They say, stupid man, crazy. They have started again. And then after 24 hours, you hear that several people died. Everybody's brain will be reset. And he said, those of you who are financing Boko Haram, if you don't confess, you will die. You will see people confess. Even Boko Haram will no longer become a, 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 a booming business. But what happened? Where is the power? Where is the power? Paul preached. Magician brought out their magical books and they got all burnt. They confessed it. They didn't just do that. Something happened in the same book of Acts chapter 19 that we were reading. The Bible said the seven sons of Sceva, they also began to do exorcism. They were binding and losing with the spirit of the devil. How can the devil be binding devil? And they say, we command you by, 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 the, by the, how do they even say it? Is, is it the, the, the one whom, the, uh, whom Paul said Jesus preaches? I, I can't remember how they, how they just, con, you know, uh, concoct that word. And the Bible said, the demoniac stood up and said, Paul, I know. Jesus, I know. You, who are you? One man that was possessed of demon beat seven sons of Sceva. He beat them that they didn't even see the road out. They went through the windows. And the Bible said they went out naked. And when the news got to everybody, you guess what happened? Magician began to bring out their magical books. In verse 19 of this same act, chapter 19, the Bible said many of them also, which use curious arts, brought their books together and burned them before all men. And they counted the price of them and found it 50,000 pieces of silver. Go to verse 20. So mighty grew, so mightily grew the word of God. And what happened? He prevailed. We can still carry this power if we are willing. If we can still carry it. Love, righteousness, be prayerful. Power will flow. You will praise, things will begin to happen. You will make a decree to be established. I'm telling you the truth. If you don't believe me, go and try it out. Carry your problem, go before God in prayer. Take it to the Lord in prayer and see what God will do. And there is something many of us have missed. When I showed to you the book of Psalm 45, verse 7, that we read, we, we read it earlier. Do you know there is something there is something about that. The Bible says, you love righteousness. And you hate wickedness. And therefore, what happened? Thy Lord, thy God has what? Anointed him. With what? Oil of gladness above thy fellow. Now, let me show you the benefit of being righteous as I round up. Please, computer, can we see Psalm 37 verse 7? Psalm 37 verse 7. Can we quickly look at Psalm 37 verse 7? No. 
Okay, Psalm 34, verse 7. I see Psalm 34, verse 7. Psalm 34, verse 7. Sorry. Look at what the Bible says. Can we read it together after the count of three? One, two, three, go. The angel of the Lord encamped round about them that fear him and delivered them. In our translation, it said, the angel of the Lord encamped round about who? The righteous. The angel of the Lord encamped itself, encamped themselves around who? The righteous. How many of us are righteous? When we are righteous, the angel of the Lord will be upon us. He will lead us. He will guide us. And I discovered that angel played a prominent role because the power we need for this era can only come if we live righteously and we are prayerful. And for being righteous, angel of the Lord surrounds you. They carry out your biddings. Angel of the Lord will be at your service. They were at the service of Paul. They were at the service of Peter. They were at the service of Jesus. In Matthew chapter 4 verse 11, the Bible says, after the devil left Jesus, what happened? Angels came. Angels came and did what? And ministered. Unto who? Unto Jesus. So who told the angel cannot minister to you? When you go to the book of Hebrews chapter 1 verse 13 to 14, you will see the role of the angels there. They are ministering spirits. They are our errand boy. Psalm 91, he said, the Lord has given charge to who? His angels. Concerning who? Me. Can you imagine? God has already commanded his angel. Watch after Moses. Dollar, when you left your house, you left your little boy at home and you commanded your house girl, take care of my son. When your son is crying, your house girl come and minister to him. Dress him, change his nappy, give him anything he wants. In the same way, God commanded his angel and gave charge to his angels concerning you and I. So that we do not dash our foot against a stone. That's what the Bible says. Remember when they came to arrest Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane. The Bible said Peter brought out his sword. And what did he do? He cut off the ear of Mascus. He cut off his ear. And Jesus said, what are you doing? He carried the ear. Fixed it back. And he said, do you think I cannot talk to my father? And he will send more than 12 legions. 12 what? Legions of angels. Matthew 26 verse 53. That's where you find the story. Legions of angels. And some Bible scholar told us that a legion is 6,000. 6,000 is a legion. God said, I could have told my father to send angels now. But no, no, no. But we don't need that now. We don't need that now. Angels that are at your service. Your righteousness will bring angel into a special ministry to you. I, I mean, aiding you, guiding you, helping you, supporting you. What has angel not done in this present time? Even in the Bible, we read it. So my brothers, my sister, I tell you the truth. We are the one that is not utilizing what God has given to us. When large did you pray? God send your angels. When large did you pray that prayer? And here, when you go to the book of Exodus chapter 23 from verse 20 to 23, you see what the Bible says about the angels. When these people were living in Israel, he gave angels command and he said, listen to those angels. Behold, I send my angel. I send an angel, one angel before thee, to keep thee in the way and to bring thee into the place which I have prepared. Where are we going to this year? You may not know it. I may not know it. But I tell you the truth. If you are righteous, what happened? He sent his angel. And what happened? His angel will lead you. His angel will guide you. Look at verse 22. 
But if thou shalt indeed obey his voice and do all that I speak, then I will be an enemy unto thine enemies. And an adversary unto thine adversaries. That's the word of the Lord. And once he has uttered it, he will not withdraw, he will not withdraw it. If he has said it, it's surely going to happen. So the question is this. Are we righteous to have angels in our company? Angels are on assignment because of us, but we don't utilize them. And all you need to have angels at your service is to be righteous. And then for the power of the Lord to flow, be a prayerful person. Because I've always said it, he who prays is talking to God. We spend a lot of time talking to ourselves, but we spend less time praying to God. The king of Israel prayed in the book of First Kings, chapter 19, verse 5 to 8. He prayed. He prayed so much, and the unexpected happened. Unexpected. Sorry, 2 Kings 19, verse 35. 2 Kings 19, verse 35. The one I quoted was where the angel came to feed Elijah. Elijah. But in the book of 2 Kings chapter 19, verse 35, 2 Kings 19, verse 35, after the prayer was prayed, the Bible said, and it came to pass that night, that night, that the angel of the Lord went out and smote in the camp of the Assyrians. How many? 185,000. And when they arose early in the morning, behold, they were all what? Dead corpses. How many angels killed 185,000? One angel. Only one angel. And angels are on assignment for your sake. I only challenge you this morning, this evening, live a righteous life. Live a prayerful life. When you do that, angel will naturally come. That's what the Bible says. Psalm 34 verse 7. The angel of the Lord did what? Surrounds. Those who are righteous or those who fear the Lord. The only thing that will bring the angel of the Lord upon your life is if you are righteous. You can claim to be a born again, but you are not righteous. So there's no angel. Village people will hunt you. They will destroy you. And people will be crying. Beloved, we have gotten to a level that even I said it this year in the church, I said there will be a lot of angelic manifestation this year. I'm telling you the truth. One of our pastors is now assistant regional pastor. He was coming from Kefi. No, he was coming from Lafia. I can never forget that day. He was coming from Lafia. He was coming to Buari actually, where Nigeria Law School is. And then he got to Maraba, he stopped. Then from Maraba to Buari, there's no vehicle. Maraba to Duse, no vehicle. And you look at the time, it was after 11. Pastor was stranded in the middle of the night. Then suddenly, a car pulled up. People ran there. He too ran there. And the man said, you. He pointed at that pastor. You, enter. The rest said, oh God, please carry us. He said, no, him, enter. And this pastor said, I'm telling you a true life story. And then when they got to do say, he thought he would drop. The man turned. And he said, sir, where are you going? He said, didn't you say you are going to Buari? I'm taking you to Buari. By the time they got to the front of their house, of his house, it was already after 12. Then this pastor, his name is Pastor Denki, if you know him. He, he reached his hands into his pocket, brought out money. The man said, I don't need money. Uh -uh. You mean from Maraba to here? He said, yes. Can I have your phone number? He said, no problem. He gave Pastor Denki his phone number. Pastor Denki thanked him. And the man drove, went back. Guess what? The following morning, Pastor Denki called the number. The number does not exist. An angel had just carried him. An angel had just carried him. See, some of you are seated here. Take what I'm about to tell you. There's somebody who is traumatizing your life, making your life bitter. The angel of the Lord will flog that person. And the person will leave you alone. In the mighty name of Jesus. Shall we please be upstanding? I've overstayed my time. I'm very sorry. Hallelujah.
Now we are going to pray two more prayers. Two more prayers. Very quickly. Two more prayers. And please cooperate whatever I ask you to do. Two more prayers. Number one. Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. By your mercy, I want to manifest your power and your glory from now on. Prayer in the name of Jesus. My father, my father, I want to manifest your power and your glory from now on. I want to manifest it. I want to manifest it, oh Lord. Help me, my father, that I may manifest your power, your glory, anywhere I go. Help me, oh Lord. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Fire. Prayer number two is very funny. Very, very funny. May you not have a weak angel. I told you it's funny before I said it. Because in the book of Daniel chapter 10, Daniel was praying and crying to God to know how the end of the world will be like. That very day he began to pray, God send an angel. The angel, maybe he's weak, I don't know, God forgive me. And the prince of Persia captured the angel and locked him up. And Daniel was wherever he was. Oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord. And God said, wait a minute. We have sent an angel now. Why is this man crying like this? Then they look. Ah, oh, the angel was arrested. So they had to send the angel Michael. Who now went and fought the prince of Persia and released that angel? And the angel too said the truth. He said, Daniel, hmm, I'm just coming from detention. From the very first day that you cried, the Lord sent me. But the prince of Persia kept me in prison until angel Michael came and delivered me. So what prayer will you pray? Maybe what you have been looking for has been released. The angel was arrested. So you pray the last prayer. Say, oh Lord my God. Oh Lord my God. Send your backup to my angel. Now. By fire. Prayer in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord my God, send your backup. Send your backup, your backup, your backup, your backup to my angel now. Send your backup. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. 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 Fire. Brethren, if you are here, you don't know Jesus. Please, come and surrender your life to Jesus. I'll pray for you. And I'll just put my hands on your head. And I'm done. If you know you are not born again, wherever you are, don't be shy. Come up, quickly. If you know that something is wrong in your life, don't miss this opportunity. Don't miss this opportunity. If you want to surrender your life, come forward now. Come forward now. Don't waste time. Just come forward. If you want to surrender your life to Jesus, come forward. Come forward. Don't allow the devil to deceive you. You cannot go back like this. Something has to happen. Let the people in your family know that you are a new person. You are a changed person. You are a revived person. Come forward. Come forward. Come forward. Don't hold back. Don't stay back. Come forward. Tell that devil is a bastard. He cannot keep you in this shape, in this form. Enough is enough. He has cheated you for too long and it is time for your life to be blessed than it has ever been. If you want to surrender your life, come up quickly, come up quickly. Come up quickly, come up quickly. Don't waste time, don't waste time. Don't waste time. Thank you, Jesus. Now begin to tell God Say Lord I want to arise You know we don't have time I read Psalm 57 verse 8 I was shocked You know what he said 
Awake up my glory. Awake. Some people's glory has been sleeping. And it must wake up. Brother, the way you lived your life last year, you cannot live your life like this. Something has to change. And let me tell all of you, listen to me. Don't be afraid of what is happening in the economy. Don't be afraid. Because your survival does not depend on the economy of Nigeria. Psalm 34 verse 10. Young lion do suffer. Do lack and suffer hunger. Praise the Lord. But they that seek the Lord shall not what? Want anything good. You can't lack anything. People are crying now. Hey, what are we going to do? Hey, why are they afraid? They should go and read the book of Job 28 verse 29. When men shall say there's a casting down, you will say there is a lifting up. Who said God cannot feed you? Brethren, your coming out today is the best decision you've ever taken. Because from now on, your life will add value. Your story will change. You will not remain the same again. So quickly say after me, say, Lord Jesus, I surrender my life to you. Change my story. Rewrite my name in the book of life. Oh Lord my God, the devil have cheated me for too long. But today, I reject him. I refuse him. I renounce him. I don't need him. All my alliance, all the pact that I had with him, I break them today. Lord Jesus, I am yours. I am all yours. Help me. To live a righteous life and a prayerful life and a victorious life from now on. Lord, upon the base of your children confession, I say, Lord, accept them. Receive them. Have their name written in the book of life. Change their story. They will not fail. They will not fall. From today, Lord, let them live a victorious life. Everything they thought can never happen to them. Lord, let it begin to happen. Good things, wonderful things, precious things. Let it begin to happen to them. Father, we thank you. Lord, I bless your name. Lord, I put my hands on their head and I say, Lord Jehovah, they are for yours forever. They are yours forever. They are yours forever. They are yours forever. Let them catch this fire. Let them catch this fire. Let them be revived. Let them be renewed. Let them be revived. Let them be renewed. Thank you, Lord. Glory be unto you. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Can say, Lord, you can go with the new convert. Can we lift up our hands and just appreciate the Lord for the excellency of the delivery of his word, for his grace that he has released. Let's appreciate him. Let's give him all the glory. Let's give him all the honor. Let's give him all the adoration. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Ask the Lord as you are about to take communion that the Lord should empower you. This is another means of empowerment. Lord, as I take this meal tonight, change my ranks, change my status, change my stature in the realm of the Spirit. By this meal tonight, he said, this is my body which is broken for you so that your own body will not be broken. This is my blood which is shed for you that your own blood will not be wasted. Lord, empower me tonight as I take your flesh and take your blood. Ashili alalalusha. Empower me tonight. As I take your blood and I take your flesh. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Hmm. You are about to take the body and the blood of the one 
that died and came back again after three days. How can your life be the same? And he said, all power in heaven and on earth is now in my hand. You are about to take him inside you. You will not know sickness again. You will not know defeat again. You will not know oppression again. Once you eat this tonight, you will never eat in the dream again. Your spirit man is empowered. Thank you, Father. Lord, we decree over this table. Let it answer for its name. In the name of Jesus. Power for the new era. Baptize everyone afresh. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we we'll pray. Say, I receive it. Say, I embrace it. Say, it is mine. Say, I will testify. Give Jesus Christ a clap offering. And please be seated. Thank you, sir, for such word and the ministration. We are grateful. Give a clap offering to Jesus. Awesome. 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 Let's prepare our seat tonight. Lord, this is my seed for the new era. Prepare your seed. Prepare your redemption for pledges. You have your pledges for the stadium there. Oh, February 23rd. I'll be telling you when we get there. February, if you want to clap, go ahead and clap. February 23rd, we'll soon be here. We're at the National Stadium. The God of all possibilities. This is your year. Are you convinced? Say, this is my year. Now prepare your seat. So we took the pledges yesterday. Those that want to financially support the stadium. Something ushers, can you come around? So you can signal to the ushers. They have the pledge form with them. It's going to be um, a way of blessing into your life. Signal to the ushers if you need the pledge form. Different categories are there. You should be part of the agenda of the end time affairs. That's what God is doing. There are pastors of other denominations preparing for that program. And it's an interdenominational program. Just like he mentioned now, a time is coming towards the end now. There is going to be unity in the body to push the agenda in the last day. I discovered that what we see in Sivan, uh, Christ for all nations, Reabonke Crusade, that huge crusade that you see, is a combination of several denominations. That's the secret I discovered in that crusade. That mammoth crusade is a combination. So they were able to push. Reabonke said, what he got in 10 years, he didn't get it in 60 years of his ministry. He labored in South Africa, labor everywhere. But he said when the door opened for him in Nigeria, 1999. And then in 10 years, he said they won 50 million souls. It was a combination. So this is what the part at the stadium is becoming. It's not one man show, it's a combination. So if you need a platform, you can signal to them. It's a multi-million naira project. One of the items on the budget was about 15 million. Assigning some check now for stage, for light, for things. Hmm. Resources make the will of the gospel to run. It is true. Praise God. Are you ready now with your seed? Let's pray over it. Father, we thank you. We give you all the glory. We decree over every seed that is lifted. Let the rain of heaven rest upon it. Our first multiply back to every giver. Your hands will not drop down in poverty. In the name of Jesus, all titus will declare the heavens open upon you. Heaven open upon your tithe. First fruit, we declare it blessed. In the name of Jesus, all of you making pledge and releasing pledge resources for 
the stadium program, we declare your season of office is now. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In your finances, new era. Your income will suddenly jump higher. In the name of Jesus. What you couldn't buy last year, you will buy this year. What you couldn't own last year, you will own it this year. Some of them will be given to you at a giveaway prices. Some of them will come as gifts. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Jesus' mighty name we pray. Once you drop your seed, you uh, stand up to take your communion. And once you take communion, please begin to pray for power. Begin to pray for power. Lord, increase my power base. I know I have a measure of it. I need it in the higher measure. Pray for power. One of our mothers was testifying of last week home. How God empower her this last week Monday. What you need is not money, it's power. Pray for power tonight. Once you take that communion, Lord, increase my rank, increase my status, increase my height, the realm of the spirit. Pray for power. <laughs> you shall speak with tongues so we are going to do two things and then we'll be on our way you shall receive power when mm -mm, that's not what the bible said 
when the when the Holy Ghost come upon you, you shall receive power when the Holy Ghost come upon you. And when the Holy Ghost came upon them, what happened? They spoke in tongues. So two things we're going to do. We're going to speak in tongues. And secondly, the Bible said the oil was poured on David. I hope you have your oil ready. Anyway, your customers are beside you. First Samuel chapter 16, <laughs> verse 11. First, first Samuel 16, verse 11. He said the oil and David was anointed. Verse 13, please. David was anointed in the midst of his brethren. Please read with me. One to go. I want you to see something there. You see, revelation brings empowerment. Enlightenment is enmightenment. If there is any grammar like that. When you are enlightened, you are enmightened. As a power of revelation. Light bring might. Light bring might. Then Samuel took the horn of oil. And what about? And anointed him in the midst of his brethren. What came upon him? Oil. The spirit. The spirit of the Lord. It was oil the poor. It was spirit that took place. It was oil the poor. It was spirit that took over. And ye shall receive power when the Holy Ghost come upon you. And when they received the Holy Ghost, they spoke in tongues. Thank you, Father. I trust God that in the name of Jesus Christ, that from tonight, your life experience changes. The changes you want to see from this week, you will see it now. Lift your hands. I just prayed in tongues in one minute. Prayed in tongues in one minute. That's not the way to do it. He just told us now, endlessly, endlessly, passionately, passionately, Lakato Zidianaga, Erotodosha, Egalagadagabagadoshada, Eroto, Eshalagadagadagadosha, Eperiata, Eshadagadagadagadosha, Eriata, Eshadagada, Eperuta, Eshadaga, Eperuta, Esheteria, Aparida, Eshagada, Eperiata, Eshagadish, Apariata, Ashandeka, Eketosha, Apariata, Eshaya, Aposhada, Eroto, Eshagada, Aparosa. In Jesus' name we pray. Bring out your heart. Please don't joke with this. I like that it's illustration. A man just look at somebody and you put your hand or your finger. And you push the head. The head that is anointed. Then obituary was the one that followed. It will be an insult for anyone to attack you. And there is no repercussion. It is an abuse of association with redemption. And if they push your head. If nothing happens, they will slap your face. We, we did anointing like this in Nikon, Nikon nursery. And one of us in the house now got back home. Everywhere, lives in the um, um, eyebrow area. Everywhere was closed. Suddenly, this bat came from nowhere. You know this story. The bat came, black bat. You know what they call bat? It's not that. It is a rat bed. It's a rat bed. Have you seen such a bed before? It's a rat, but it's also a bed. And came from nowhere and hit the head that was anointed inside Nakon Nostri at the power touch. And as he hit the head, he landed on the floor. And that was the end. He was roasted. The same day, the same Saturday, what, do my glory must speak. Leave that oil off. Water and acid may look alike. 
When you touch it, it's when you know the difference. Once it's sprayed over, it's no longer a cooking oil. It becomes an instrument in the hand of the Holy Ghost. I decree and declare that every liquid lifted up, let it be empowered. Amen. At the application, there shall be manifestation. Amen. You will not be molested. Amen. You will not be disgraced. Amen. The enemy will not mock you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Put it there. In your hand, I will count from one to three. Don't annoy yourself yet. I'll count from one to three. You can share with your neighbor. You don't lack what you share. You only lack what you hide. God has placed him beside you so that you can continue to supply him. <laughs> Lift it up. At the count of three, you place it in front of your head. And all you just say is, I receive power. Shout it three times, I pray, we are closed. I receive power. I receive power. Be careful. I need to send this note of warning. Be careful what you say with your mouth. Because the first manifestation of this power is, whatever you say will happen. That's real power. Power is what, what you say something, it happens. What you ask to go, go. What you ask to come, come. That's power. You add it as, as in the presence of whom I stand, there shall not be rain. So, if whatever you don't want, you don't say it. Can you lift it up? Thank you, Jesus. Lord, at the release of this, let there be impartation of unction. A change of ranks. A change of status. A change of capacity. The one that came with 1.0 engine shall go home with 2.0. Double engine. In the name of Jesus. What you couldn't move before, you move it now. Once I say one, two, three, you plant it and say, I receive power. I receive power. I receive power. And then I pray. In the name of Jesus Christ. This year, the story changed. This month, the story changed. One, two, three. Again. Again. Let the power rest on you now. Let the power rest on you now. 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 Every spirit of disfavor and rejection, let it be broken into pieces. That money that is hanging shall be released this week. Your money is released this week. Your promotion is released this week. Your lifting is released this week. Your breakthrough is released this week. Every chain, bondage, bad law, let it be broken now. Be broken now. Be broken now. Be broken now. Bray! 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 If they are not giving anybody jobs or not giving anybody contract, they will release your home. That visa is granted. That foreign trips is approved. All expenses paid. The kind of alert you have never received all your life. At once. At once. This very week. This very month. You will receive such alert. In the name of Jesus. We call it dog. It is done. On this day 29 of this prayer and fasting, all your prayers are answered. Thank you, Father. Jesus, mighty name, we pray. Don't miss day 30 tomorrow. 5.30, all run settlement. 
Then by 12 midnight, we are here receiving the help of God for the third day. And tomorrow morning, my portion shall not be diverted. Today is your first time. Step forward to the altar. Those of you that are seated, you want me to move into the third service. <laughs> you know, I don't have challenge. <laughs> Today is your first time. Step forward to the altar and then we welcome you. This coming Sunday, move the mountain. Mountains mover. It's going to be heavy, powerful. Again, February 23rd, we're on our way to National Stadium. Give Jesus Christ a clap offering. Nobody's stepping out now. I'm sharing grace. Nobody's stepping out now. Always receive grace. So, begin to tell everyone, the t-shirt, the ambil available, and God bless you in Jesus' name. I decree and declare that the Lord go with you. Make his face to shine upon you. You are returning with your testimony in Jesus' name. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. 2024, my year of new era, my year of new dawn, my year of higher dimensions. These are my portions. Amen. Hallelujah. Tell 12 people that Lord has done my own. All of you in the front, you are welcome. And I'm happy to see you. The Lord bless you. And your face looks familiar. Have you seen me before? I like the way you are smiling. God bless you. May the Lord give you special testimony. Stretch forth your hands. All of you stretch forth your hands. I decree and declare, money meet money in your hands. Favor meet favor in your life. The Lord move you forward. The Lord increase you. The Lord empower you. The Lord transform you. Change your story and establish you. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. All of you, I especially invite you for Sunday. I want to see you on Sunday. Invite all your friends on Sunday. I have a, a gift. I want to give you like a mantle, a book that I've written. So invite all your friends, everyone around you. And also prepare for stadium as well. From today, every problem you came in with expire. In the name of Jesus. Take your seat there. God bless.